Imagine being a sick child and unable to walk until the age of 12. This is the story of the fastest woman in the world. Welcome back to another episode of Kev in the Kitchen. I'm your host, Kevin Abdurrahman, the man inspiring millions. Let's get into today's Food for Thought. You probably take it for granted and the chances are you don't think about it. Dubbed Skeeter for her insane speed, the fastest woman in the world was unable to walk without assistance until the age of 12. Prematurely born in 1940, as a child she suffered from pneumonia, scarlet fever and polio. Her left foot was crooked and turned inward. She had to wear a leg brace until the age of 8. For years she required assistance to walk. It was at the age of 12 where for the first time she was able to walk without the aid of an orthopedic shoe or a brace. The doctors had told her that she wouldn't walk again but her mother said that she would. Wilma chose to believe her mother. Not only did she walk, she began to run fast. In high school, she joined the track and field team. Then in 1956, as the youngest member in her team, she qualified to compete at the Olympics in Melbourne, Australia. At 16 years of age, only four years after being able to first walk without assistance, she goes on to win the bronze medal for the 400 meter relay. Then in 1960, at the Summer Olympics in Rome, Italy, she makes history. She goes on to become the first American female to win three gold medals at a single Olympic event. In Wilma Rudolph's words, winning is great, sure, but if you're going to do something in your life, the secret is learning how to lose. Nobody goes undefeated all the time. If you can pick up after a crushing defeat and go on to win again, then you will become a champion. Whatever your challenges, whatever your losses, whatever your defeats may be, I hope the story of Wilma serves you as an inspiration to get out there and be the best that you can be, to bring out the champion that is within you. Folks, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you feel that Wilma's story could inspire somebody you know, then feel free to share this video. My name is Kevin Abdurrahman, and until the next episode of Kevin the Kitchen, get inspired, get informed, and get going.